We are back in the BAP, and so far this round two against the Detroit Red Wings has not gone to plan at all. We do still have Johnny out. I think we still have one of our defensemen out, and they refuse to call someone up from the AHL, so we have a forward playing defense. I have no idea what's going on there, but you know what? I'm not the GM, so I can't say anything. So at this very moment, we are currently one game away from elimination and three games away from moving on. So it is a tall task, but... It's still possible. Still no Johnny Goudreau. We do have Moen though. Guy's a stud. Bjorkstrand, Johnson, and Marchenko. Make up line number one. We have Schwartz, Kempe, Batherson for line two. Again, like if we had Marchenko on the second line, Johnny here, I feel like it's a totally different team. Defensively, we got Gooley with David. And then the rest of our defense, well... Found the imposter. Scott Sterling, now 24 years old, has four abilities or an X factor and three abilities, depending how you look at it. That's personally how I say it, but I feel like a lot of people just say, oh, they have four abilities. It was do or die last game and we managed to take a dub. So again, we need to do the exact same thing and we need to do it for two games after that as well. What do you want from me? I guess we might have had a meeting because we were about to get swept and then maybe this is, nope, it's a totally new one. Team and avoid promise. Diplomatic, 1000%. Get me out of here. Come on, Columbus. I mean, we did simulate, so I'm just gonna double check to make sure Johnny didn't sneak his way back into the lineup. Yeah, didn't think so. I wanna know what their injuries are because this is outrageous. Jackets, we need to push it one more here. Let's start the simulation and hopefully things go well. We don't get scored on on the first shot. All that good stuff. They do get a power play early on and score, so that is not a good start. We have a power play and we get one right back. Bjorkstrand buries one on you see what I see. I forgot they have Saros. Yeah, so that is a problem. And I'm pretty sure in game two, I think it was, we went into the third period up 3-1 and Scott absolutely blew it, aka I blew it. So yeah, it's been a rough go overall, but that's wonderful. Schwartz, second liner, you've earned it. Just from that one goal alone. Halfway through the game, we have a one goal lead. Can we maintain this going into the third? That would be lovely. Come on, boys. Fight them off here. One minute remaining. And yes, we do. 32 to 21 for the shots as well. That's crazy. We got to shut her down here, Scott. Come on, man. If we win this game, then we only need to win two in a row, which sounds a lot better than three. Get on it, Marchenko. Nice. Walk in front, and he does. The poke check was missed by the... Oh my God. He just bent it like Beckham. That made absolutely zero sense from a physics standpoint. But you know what? You just scored that goal. I'm going to turn the other cheek and ignore your witchcraft. Blocker save. I really committed to that shot. Because I just had a good feeling that he was going to go for it. Bjorkstrand now has it for the Jackets in the neutral zone. Nice little deke. Double it. The defenseman kept backing up. He's like, what's he doing? I don't know what to do right here. Is Dorsett trying to mimic? I think he kind of was. Another save for Scott early on here. Great start to this third period. No, we can't be doing that. Come on, we're up by two. <laughs> Ref rocking a pink Pfizer again. They love doing that, eh? All right, Schwartzy. You got that goal earlier on. You think you can just do whatever you want? That's, I mean, yeah, it kind of evens out, I guess. You're not entirely wrong. Another one? Come on, Geeky. You're going to call that on a fellow pink visor ref. You're actually going to do that. You are a sick and twisted individual. Oh, dear. It is starting to snow outside again. It's like minus 16 right now. So, I mean, that's cold. Is it insane? No, but definitely cold. If we can kill off this five on three, that would be insane. They still have 30 seconds left, though. Yes, Lundestrom. Way to battle. That was huge. Puck gets put in deep, and that should pretty much do it for the two-man advantage. Other than the fact they have a two-on-one right now. He's not going to go for the pass. He's going to grip it and rip it. Send it out. David's got time, and he sends it off the glass over the blue line. We're chilling. They're still setting up an attack here, though. We got to get back. You know what? No, I'm still not going to smother it. I was going to, like, hit the reset button, but nah. I'm feeling pretty good in the cage here today as well. So you know what? If we were ever to win three games in a row. I'm thinking this is it. Nice pass by Kempe. Oh, it's still almost found a way. But Saros managed to squeeze the mini wheats together and that puck remained in the paint. We are now 
under the halfway mark in this third. What just happened there? I think I went to pass it out. Went off of Raymond in front. Thankfully, our guy was there to pick it up. Speaking of Raymond, he's back at it again. And so is Scott with another save. Don't turn back there, Johnson. Do not do that. We have to move up, okay? Get it out of our zone. And then do whatever you want. What a pass again! Soros is on one, though. Clean win. Oh, he even goes for the pass, not the shot. That was a play. If I've ever seen one. Dorsett in for Detroit. Immediately gets stripped of the puck. And Marchenko. Finally, someone that can actually send the puck in deep. That's not a penalty, right? Okay, I don't think so. What a lovely pass. Again, another wonderful opportunity for your jackets that are blue. And unfortunately... No dice. We do still have a two-goal lead, however, with only five minutes to go. So things are looking good, but they definitely are not guaranteed. Ooh. That was a big one. Back-to-back -back couple saves there, and I will smother it because I've had enough. We're actually doing quite well in the face-off dot right now, so that's good to see. I feel like we were struggling there before. No way did we just take a penalty. Or are they just pulling their goalie because they're down? Ah! Slid too far. No, we definitely took a penalty. Oh, they actually won one too. Point shot. Couldn't get all of it. Yeah, I'm sending it. You're over there and they backed off. That was huge to kill time. And what happened there? Because I was too busy being amazed at how great Scott is playing. I don't know if it was like a Hulk pass over to the right that somehow just... Bounced off the boards and went down, or if that guy sent it down, couldn't tell you. What I can tell you, however, is we are down to the final minute in this third period. Nice hit, step up on Larkin. And it looked like they tried to pull their goalie, but sent him back. Which is understandable, because we did have control of it. Ten seconds. Larkin in the middle to Raymond. Wow, I just got destroyed. Did not expect him to bring it back like that. He even dives into the goalpost. Yo, chill. Hang on a second, you got no time left. Five seconds, Marchenko. Oh, you just can't take this guy off the puck. You can't do it. Beautiful. All right, so a little bit of a scare there, but we hang on. 33 shots, only two goals against. I don't think I'll be the first star, but I wasn't the third either, so let's see. Come on. Oh, wow. All right. I mean, yeah, almost a 940 save percentage. Fair play. Living it up, boys. Johnny once again. Being a pretender, has the outfit on, but is not stepping foot on the ice. So just like that, we are two games away from moving on, one away from taking an L. And we got Johnny! He's actually back. Holy crap, why is Schwartz still here? Did we lose someone else? Scratched? No? They took out Moen? Rookie mistake. You shouldn't be doing that. I guess Batherson got demoted to the third line. I probably would have moved Jaden down, but actually he's been all right. So I'm going to allow it. And we have Lundestrom playing defense now. Awesome. Johnny, come on. I need you to get like a Hattie in the first period of your return game. That would just be a story and a half. Okay. Hagel scores on the third shot of the game. Yes, Heinemann ties it up just like that. And then we get another one from Costin. Come on, Jackets. Oh, my word. I'm loving everything I'm seeing right now. This is immaculate. A buzzer beater. One second left. Kempe gives us a three goal lead. They still have Saros in net. 13 shots and four goals. What a period from the blue guys. They only have 11 shots. I mean, we only have 22 to be fair, but still. They were in the single digit shot category for the longest time there. Dorset cuts the lead to two. And that is where we will be going into the third. With a two goal lead and our season on the line. We could win this potentially. And come down to a single game in this series. It's been all Detroit early on in this third. Behind the net. Nice! Let's... Well, I wasn't ready for that. Yep, got it. Off of an insane shot from David. 
Guy's been hitting the gym. Oh dear. Oh, it's Wallstrom as well. I'm not gonna flank Pochek. I feel like he's got nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Send it over to Schwartz. Who goes back cross ice to Marchenko. Lost it, but that's okay. The boys are fired up right now. We're getting physical. Not the most eventful third period so far. It's been neutral zone-ish. A few chances here and there. Like, there's our best chance yet, and we score. What a give-and-go play from those individuals. And now we have a three-goal lead. It's going to seven. It is absolutely going to seven games. Heineman gets by his guy. Good pass in the middle, but their defender stopped whoever that was from getting all of it. Dewey just got drilled against the boards. And now sails in. Has blue jackets everywhere, though. And is not able to get anything going. Drake. Same thing. That's what I mean, though. That's the majority of this third period has just been gaining the line, immediately losing it. Other team going back the other way. And that one chance we had was pretty much it. Oh no. Oh yeah, what a save. Passed in front, blocker to side on the one-timer. Scott Sterling and the Columbus Blue Jackets seem unbeatable right now. And then we do that. Okay. Well, that's awesome. And you know what? You get a flying poke check, Raymond. That's what you get. Goes behind. Foots all over it there. No. I don't know if that was, like, fully necessary. That even went off something and went the complete opposite way that Saros was ready for. Now the puck meets Irene. Columbus. What a comeback this has been. Did we win the first game? No, I guess we would have lost three straight, right? Yeah, so this would be a reverse sweep if we pull this off. Casper goes to Moser, and I absolutely am not smothering that. What do I look like? I swear this is Johnny's second time being on the ice here in the third period, which you know what? Maybe it's like we're winning up by three goals. We don't need offense right now. He just came back from injury. Let's try to prevent him from re-aggravating it. I, that could be it. It's also a video game, so I doubt the coach is thinking that. 15 seconds remain, and this game is all but done. They might get one more here, possibly, but even if they do, there is no chance they get two more. Columbus wins three straight after losing three straight and pushes... Hey! Whoa! Why are we celebrating? There should be a line brawl right now. Just absolutely disgusting behavior from Detroit. Game's over already. Decides to tee up Johnny, our captain. But you know what that means? We are rent-free in their head right now. They are fuming. Thought maybe we might get a defender back, but no. Isaac still gonna be on the back end there. Well, we got all the way here for this. Both teams now share a record of 7-5. and five. We have won three straight games. After being on the brink of elimination the whole time, we cannot lose this game now. That would be absolutely horrendous. And we get scored on the first shot of the game. What a joke. Nice, we get one from Kent. Three minutes to go in the first. It is tied up at one. We are in a matchup right now. Come on, we're out shooting them. Soros can't be that good. Let's get one more and go into the third with a one goal lead. Or let's have the longest power play of all time and not score, but then score after. Let's go Yoast. All right, we have a one goal lead. Don't you dare score on that power play. Can we hold it off? Can we hold it off? It's looking good. This game is still very throwable though. There is no guarantees. What a heartbreak this would be for Detroit. I mean, they were 18th, so they must have snuck into the playoffs. And then... Well, their dreams aren't over yet. They could still very well be the team moving on. Johnston to Bjorkstrand. Tries to get a shot off, but the defenseman Got all up in his face. Wasn't about to let that one through. Raymond, who has the only goal so far in this third period, which isn't saying much because we are just about three minutes in. What is that save? He had to have saved that with his stick. Had to have. Raymond, again, he is having 
An incredible third period so far. Got to be on the lookout for that guy. Kent Johnson did score a goal for us in this game already. I think it was Kent, right? He scored the goal in the first to tie it up. Oh, my word. Okay, yeah. We definitely got to get our act together here because Detroit is hungry. There's no way that's a penalty. There's absolutely no way. Oh, yeah, the classic elbow. Are you kidding me? At least we won the draw. Yeah, I'll send it to you. He went the other way. Had him fooled. Good pass, too. Okay. A little breakout, and we're getting fancy on a PK. Not too sure about that one, Chief. Oh, I don't like this. They have it behind the net. I do not like it one bit. Back to the point it goes. Our guy gets in the way, Heinemann, and he wins the battle to it still. Even though he was just limping. That's a warrior. Bjorkstrand gets the puck deep, and he is hustling to get after it. Johnny, help him out. Wallstrom wins the battle, unfortunately, and finds his man, Casper, on the breakout, who almost got by our defender with a deke, but not quite. Battle at the blue line now, and somehow he keeps that in. Well, I'm very thankful his stick broke, because that would have been terrifying. Johnny with another chance in the slot, and Soros has his number right now. If that's the way our season ends. We almost had one. Kind of. Not really. But the effort was there. Casper. The ghost. He's in. Ooh, sliding across save on Wallstrom. Now Pajot has it at the point. Let's go. One of the weaker shots of all time that almost found its way in the net. Probably because of the fact it was so slow. Ochenko tries to go for a pass there. Also, could not get that one through. Oh, yeah? The passing play? Why did you not go back to Schwartz for the backdoor? Oh, come on. Glove it. Throw it. Let's get going. Get that puck up the ice. Detroit's just shutting it down, too. They got their guys sitting at the blue line. Personally, don't think that should be a penalty, but I'll take it. Skate, Johnny. Skate like the wind. Great pass and great shot. It's tied. It is actually tied. I almost didn't believe it for a second there. But it's true. It's damn true. Great goal, boys. Power play marker. And we are back in this thing. I still don't feel great about it because I do not believe they should have got a penalty for that hit. But it is what it is, you know. And that almost was a goal. How's that happen then? What occurred right here to cause this puck to go in the net? I'd love to know. I really would. Nicholas Pajot. I'm sorry? So he shoots it. Yeah, we all know that. It goes off and then... I don't know. I feel like we're just destined to lose. I'm not getting pulled. I mean, I've tried to pull myself. It doesn't work. So, I guess we're just confident in our five-on-five -five abilities to tie this thing up, even though we're about to be golfing. Yes? No. Double no. 15 seconds remain. Gooley rips one just wide. Get there. Keep it in. That's it. We're done. We came all the way back in this series after being down by three. To a game seven and we lose it. That is devastation in its purest form. Yeah, we should be hanging our heads. Terrible. Sim to next big event, I guess. Let's find out who wins the cup. The Dallas Stars go on to win the Stanley Cup. All right, let's see who won all the trophies. Hey, 
Hey, James, zip it. Are you kidding me? And Detroit ends up getting the second pick in the draft. I do not believe what I'm seeing. Kempe had 11 points. Johnson and Batherson, as well as Bjorkstrand, all had 10. Where's Johnny? He only played like two games, I guess, right? Yeah, two games, one point, and was a dash three. Not good. The Dallas Stars somehow picked up Quinn Hughes, so it all checks out now. They have Rupe Hints, they've got Robertson, Vrana, Heiskanen, Philip Heedle, and they still have Jakey O. Oh, yeah, they 100% deserve that Stanley Cup. Team awards are as follows. Let's go to individual trophies. Will we have the Art Heart combo? We do. boy Rantanen. Owen Power scoops up the Norris. Rantanen also gets the Lady Bang. He is cleaning up. Massar gets the Calder Memorial Trophy. And Robertson with the Conn Smythe. Gustafson obtains both the Vesna and the Jennings. And then we've got Chatfield having himself a Bill Masterton season. McDavid is awarded the Selkie. Another trophy for Rantanen and might as well make it one more. We unlocked a new ability, so I'm gonna try to get us some X-Factor points, and then I will assign it at the start of next season. So what do we need here? We need 10! Show me the X-Factor points. That is the only thing I care about. This gets me one, so sure. This only lasts for 22 days. Anyway, it's an X-Factor point, so we're currently at two. 2.1 million. Okay, so we are not going to be able to get 10 X-Factor points. I can tell you that right now, but I mean... We could just override one of the other abilities, probably. A trade point for me? I just realized our season stats kind of sucked. 33, 30, and 3. With a 908. How do we finish 8th in the league? 96 overall, and we are still a part of the Jackets for one final hoorah. This should be our last season with them. I'm getting dialogue 100% the go-to right now with these trade points. So as we do, I will reveal the roster at the start of next video. Hopefully we made some moves in the off season. I just, I don't know. We can have one more season here with Columbus and then I'll probably try out one more team and that will probably wrap up this series and we'll start another one, I'm thinking. Another be a pro of the goalie variety or something like that. But yeah, we'll do this season with Columbus. Hopefully win a cup, but if not, then we'll try it with another team, and we'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Appreciate you. We almost had it so close. We managed to come all the way back to a Game 7, and we lost in a game that could have had us moving on. It would be greatly appreciated if you could like and subscribe. But if you're just, you know, wanting to watch this series, then that's cool too. On that note, I'll see you soon.